How's it going everyone? Frontier Center here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not some kind of elite tier operator. I'm just a weeb who likes to shoot guns. And uh, yeah, so I was gonna make a video on my concealed carry setup, but I've done this before and basically I'm just gonna make it simple here. So I've carried a bunch of setups throughout the years. You can see my EDC here. And I've basically distilled that down to the most simplest form. Now I truly carry just a subcompact gun. I got no optic, no light, simple Churchicon HDs. I've also found out recently what the HK lanyard was for, was to put some phone charms in there. You gotta represent the waifu, am I right? Don't actually hang phone charms through this, it's, that would be very dumb. <laughs> Just doing it for the video. So I was going through some footage, and I noticed one of my old draws here. Now, foamy clips, I think, are ass. Now, if you don't know what foamy clips means, it stands for... Oh, what does it stand for again? So foamy clips basically stands for fold over mold injected and it's basically a clip that looks like this so as you can see if you have a clip like that it doesn't always properly index onto your belt now that can be really bad if you're drawing your gun in a defensive situation and you don't want that holster coming out of your of your belt and you definitely don't want it coming out of your belt with the gun um on it still like with it on the gun because that would be very very bad <laughs> yeah so definitely don't get those i know this is kind of a, a, a basic video for a lot of people but if your holster does have this clip, get rid of it. Get a holster that uses clips like this. This is a Raven Concealment Overhook clip. Now what it does is it indexes the belt properly. As you can see in this channel here, the belt will go in and not uh, not like wet, like not wiggle itself out just because of the design of the clip. As you can see how it has to travel underneath this spot here. As you can see, the belt is basically trapped inside this wedge and there's no way for this to actually come out unless you physically pry the belt out of this clip. And that is what you want in a good holster clip. Holster clip is extremely important. Definitely invest in a holster with a good clip or invest in a good clip afterwards. But if you have a foamy clip, if your belt is tilted or if your holster is tilted, there's a big chance of it kind of wedging out of the index point and coming out as you draw your gun, which is, like I said before, not good. But what do you do if you have a holster with a foamy clip? Well, Discreet Carry Concepts actually makes metal clips that are far better than the standard foamy clip, and it can actually be attached on the same holster. So you don't necessarily have to buy a new holster, but I definitely recommend buying a new clip. I guess this is for this video. Kind of short, um, next week I am working on kind of more content. It's been kind of slow, you know, because of the ammo scarcity and all that. So I wish everybody well. Happy Thanksgiving if I don't post um, until then. <laughs> if you're bored, I do have a couple content creators I would like to shout out. Stephanie from Kawaii Unboxing, she's one of my friends. She just started her own YouTube channel. So if you're into anime and unboxing and stuff like that, definitely check her out, send her some positive vibes. My friend John Banks, he is an avid shooter as well as a fellowship poster. He also stipples Glocks, got a lot of great reviews on there, definitely check him out. Three Kings Firearms, they blow up a Pavo Pony with some Tannerite, so that is worth watching already. And last but not least, the Commando blog. I am kind of an editor for their content, and they definitely have me interested in 3D printing, like more than ever. But yeah, uh, that has been this PSA. Do not use these foamy clips. I hope everybody stays safe, and happy Thanksgiving. If I don't see you guys until then, yeah, this has been Frontier Setter, and uh, always remember, stay tactically kawaii.